Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Tati, your natural nail guru, and we have another awesome review today. So on the review menu today, we have this OPI Strengthening Base Coat. Um, it is definitely very appealing, the sound of it, right? Strengthening base coat. I am going to assume that it's going to help give a little more support and stability to our nails. So we have minimal bending, cracking, chipping, nail breaking. Uh, you know, strengthening is definitely a strong word. So we're going to test this out. Now, as always, I have multiple clients testing out the product. And for this review, considering what this base coat is claiming to do, I definitely made sure to be very specific with the clients that I used for the review. Um, I wanted to pick clients that are either constantly having issues with their nails bending and chipping. For these clients, it was particularly their working nails. They do a lot of stuff and it's always these nails that they're using all day that tend to be the trouble nails. Um, and I also have two clients uh, trying out the product that generally have perfect manicures all the time, but every once in a while or lately because they've been doing a little bit more with work, they've noticed that they've had a chip or two, um, which is not really common for them. All of these clients are also wearing their manicures for either three or four weeks. So it's definitely far beyond the two week period. Now, before we get into first impressions and reviews, as always, if you guys want to keep up with the most detailed and thorough reviews of nail products, if you want to improve the longevity of your manicures, the health of your natural nails, growth, strength, all of the above, this is the channel that you want to be subscribed to. So take a moment, subscribe, like, share with your fellow nail enthusiasts. Everyone wants to have better nails, longer lasting manicures, and whether you're a DIY or a nail professional, I do feel that the information I share is going to be able to help you. So take a moment and do that, and let's not waste any more time and get into this review. All right, so we have nails prepped and ready to go. On her dominant hand, we're going to go ahead and use the OPI Strengthening Base Coat, and as always, on the opposite hand, we're going to test it out and compare it to our Gelish Foundation. Let's see, let's take a little. It definitely has um, a chemical scent. I can smell it when I open the bottle. It's kind of like a strong, almost like a mix between acrylic and acetone scent. Really nice and smooth. It's not too thick, but also not too thin. It definitely looks like a thicker consistency than their normal base coat. All right, here we go. There's no receding or collecting or bubbling. It's looking good. All right, go ahead and put that one in. All right, now we're gonna quickly see whether or not the gel color has any issue in polishing over the base, which I don't expect it to, but we will see anyways. Yeah, polishes on very smoothly. All right, it's looking good. It doesn't look like anything is collecting or receding. So overall, first impression was really good. Nothing out of this world. It applied smoothly. It had no collecting issues or separating issues. The polish was able to go on really nicely. Um, aside from it having a pretty strong gel smell, I'll call it. It's kind of chemically, um, but it's common for polished products to have a smell, not a big deal. Uh, but aside from that, it was overall really good. Nothing out of the ordinary for the first impression. Now, as I said, I have other clients testing the product. So each one of these clients were testing the OBI strengthening base coat on their dominant hand while testing my trusty and constant gelish on their non-dominant hand. I love doing the different products within the same manicure because that's the best way to really determine what's going on and what's different within the product. So these clients are out there. They were testing it out for three or four weeks. Now let's see what their results are and what their opinions were, whether or not they felt any difference. So my first client, and I do apologize, I pretty much buffed one whole hand before I realized that she was testing out a product and I needed to take a picture. But even with the buffing, you could see the polish is intact. Everything was perfect. She had absolutely no issue. This client generally comes back every three to four weeks with perfect nails. Lately, she's just been doing a lot and has had one or two little mishaps here or there with chips. Um, but in this case, she came back with her nails totally perfect. 
Now, my next client, she wore the manicure for four weeks. She definitely came back with her usual chips. Between the two hands, it doesn't really look like there's much difference. From the customer's point of view and perspective, she felt that the OPI side, um, she didn't really notice much of a difference in the strengthening, but she felt that when it chipped, it just chipped a little bit more polish. But overall, it doesn't really look like the strengthening base coat helped her compared to the gelish. My third client, she also wore this manicure for three weeks. She did feel like she noticed a little bit of a difference. She's constantly struggling with her nails being on point, mostly because she's touching and picking and she types a lot. But she, although the results kind of show that there was almost even amount of chipping between the two hands, she felt that she noticed a little, uh, I guess, strengthening difference on her OPI hand. And my fourth client, this girl wears her manicure three weeks perfect, 99.9% .9 of the time. Every once in a while, she'll have a little bit of a mess up, but her nails pretty much came back perfect with the exception of her thumb. And as you can see, the thumb is cracked far below where the nail actually broke and there was no damage to the nail plate, which means that the product lifted off pretty easily. That was the OPI hand. That has never happened with her gelish. But as you can see within the same manicure, that is the only hand that had a little bit of a chip. Well, it was pretty much the whole nail. So it was kind of a big chip. Now, I was kind of a little bit stuck in what my ultimate, I guess, opinion of this product would be. But then I realized that overall, all four of my clients really didn't notice much of a difference. The OPI side, if we really want to be particular about it, the OPI side chipped a little bit more than the gelish side. So maybe it does give the effect, like if you're kind of touching on your nails and bending them, it might feel like it's a little bit thicker. But in my experience, when we have a product that shatters or cracks or polished chips beyond where the break was, it lets me know that it's not very flexible. Um, so maybe they made their strengthening base coat, but they lost a little bit of the flexibility that came with the non-strengthening base coat. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to say for me, if you're going to call it a strengthening base coat, it needs to strengthen. And the OPI base coat and gelish base coat showed almost identical results when I reviewed them. So I, I won't, ex I, I can't expect that this will have a different result if I would have compared it to the OPI base coat specifically. But I don't know. I'm going to say it doesn't work. You guys saw the post wear. You can make the decision for yourself. If you disagree, I would love to know if anyone out there has tried the product and has a different opinion or experience. Please comment down below. Um, I do like to get engaged with those comments down there and I do my best to respond to them. And a lot of you guys have given me a lot of good information and tips and things to try out. So please keep the comments coming. I do appreciate it. So thanks everyone again for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.